Hi Aries, it's Psychic Renegade Tarot. Um, okay, welcome to your summer 2020 video. This is timeless, so you can watch it whenever. Um, I'm gonna take it as current energy through the rest of the summer, basically the end of September, kind of. Um, you can also watch it back whenever and apply it if it resonates. So this is gonna be Aries, love and sex. I'm splitting it into two different decks today. We're gonna do um, the Modern Witch Tarot for love and um, <clears throat> the Tarot of Sexual Magic for sex. So we're gonna split the reading kind of into two parts. It's gonna be 18 and over. Um, yeah, so we're starting off with fire signs. Aries, you're up next. Let's see what <laughs> is in store for you. So this is gonna be for couples and singles. You can just apply what resonates. It's gonna be very general. So don't force anything. Oh, there goes one already. King of Wands, okay. So Aries, that is your energy. You are, um, you're feeling very passionate about somebody. I think you know what you want. You have your, um, sights set on someone so if you are in a committed relationship it's going very well right now and if you are single I think you have your sights set on somebody and you're very passionate about it maybe an empress energy um you you might be thinking or feeling very serious about somebody as well um Okay, with the tower. So <laughs> for you, I'm seeing this as like, this might be very disruptive to your life. So incorporating this person into your life might be, um, cause a lot of changes or be very life altering in some way. Um, you might be fearing that. It might disrupt something else you have going on in your life. So I feel like you have to end something to um, start this new beginning with this other person. Um, if you are in a relationship, some of you are getting caught in infidelity. If you are in a relationship, some of you are just having some issues. Um, and then if you're single, I'm seeing this as you want somebody, but to make it a reality in your life, um, you're going to have to end something else or deal with something else. Let's clarify this a little bit more. Um, yeah, so you might have some addictions you're dealing with, um, some sex addictions, substance addictions, um, toxic ties to your past. Um, yep, these could be past ties, um, ties to your childhood, ties to people from your past. Um, <clears throat> this could even be like toxic mother issues. Um, hmm. This person might remind you of someone through your past. Okay, so it's like you sense that your intuition is telling you that this um, upheaval is coming. So if you're in a relationship, you sense that um, if you don't deal with this toxicity, then it's going to cause a major upheaval. Um, if you are single, you are sensing that if you don't deal with your toxicity, it's going to get in the way of this thing that you really want and cause an upheaval or the upheaval is that you have to deal with your toxicity to get um, this empress that you want maybe. So <clears throat> um, in a general reading, um, take gender either way. Uh, this can just go, it's just as general as you can take it because it's a general reading. Okay. Uh, let's clarify a little bit more. Let's clarify a little bit more. Uh, show me the energies that Aries is dealing with. Show me the energies Aries is dealing with. Show me the energy Aries is dealing with. Um, two of Cups. King of Pentacles. And the fool. So you want to take a chance on somebody. Somebody, this person might be very grounded. They might have a lot of earth in their chart, or be older than you, or established 
in some kind of business. Um, they have like, you guys have a really good connection. It's a true soulmate connection. This person wants to take a chance with you as well. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Um, I feel like maybe this person's a little distracted or focused on their money right now. Um, I feel like they're like thinking about you and daydreaming about you, but um, maybe you're not getting the attention that you want. Maybe you're dealing with some stuff over here, it looks like. Um, seems like you guys are kind of from two different worlds or there might be a distance between you or you're from two different like backgrounds. Um, I see like um, a group dynamic is getting in the way. Your family might be getting in the way. Um, fears and bickerments are getting in the way. So maybe a little bit of this drama is getting in the way. Um, or this person is afraid. Maybe you're going to go a different direction than them. Or that the stability, maybe that you're not stable enough to grow something with them. So this person is in their head a little bit, is what I'm seeing. Okay. Um, so you can think your way through this and <clears throat> defend what you want. And you can have a passionate new beginning. So there's ways to think of their, your, their, I can't talk, your way through this and stand your ground. Um, it's kind of like defend your honor, defend what you want. So I think if you like hold your ground and really like go after what you want, um, it will ignite this passion in your relationship or in this love interest. Um, yeah, another new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, <laughs> Ace of Wands. So you definitely want this. You definitely want this energy, Aries. Um, it's just a matter of like, are you willing to battle through some things and overcome it? So that's really what I'm seeing here. Um, it's all good things. If you do push through, it's just, some, I think you're kind of in a mental, you're kind of in a mental battle right now. So um, it's like your person's fighting for you energetically, but maybe they're holding back because they're a little bit afraid too, it looks like. So it's just whether or not you guys are going to like push through this or be too afraid. So yeah, let go of fear. Yeah, let go of fear. Okay. Um, I see that if you hold on to this fear, it's going to break your heart. Um, yeah, you might have been battling with this for a while. Um, you might sabotage relationships in the past. You might have a pattern of doing this, um, kind of like creating your own heartache before it even happens. You don't really give people a chance is what I'm seeing um, a little bit. So the universe is asking you to heal this and give this person a chance. Um, so are you going to? Are you going to give yourself a chance, Aries, and love a chance? That's what I see. Let's move on to um, Tarot of Sexual Magic and let's get into your sex spread. This is for the summer of 2020. It can also be timeless. You can watch it back whenever. There goes all the cards. I'm not going to pull all those. Um, that's too many. We can pull some. So four of cups, like feeling a little bit lonely and disappointment. I think you're missing somebody. You might be having some kind of secret rendezvous or dreaming of having like a secret rendezvous with somebody. Um, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you really want to get up close and personal with somebody you might be right now like ace of pentacles is usually like that's like a gift so that could definitely be like a just a sexual relationship with somebody um for some of you this is like dreams you're just like dreaming about this Six of Wands, this person wants you to, um, or sexual endeavors you're going after are successful. You might be feeling a little bit kinky lately or having a hard time not <laughs> checking people out in their skimpy summer clothes. I think you might be a little bit of an ass person or like, but 
Two of Swords. You want to sneak away with somebody. I think you have your eye on somebody. You want to get them alone. Um, you think this person's really elegant and attractive. They might look really good in purple or dark colors or have dark hair. Um, you want to be romantic with this person, I see. You might even have something a little bit about feet, some of you. Some of you, it's breasts. Queen of Swords. Um, I think you're admiring somebody from afar. This person might be very intellectual or stern. Um, you guys might be sapiosexuals. You might turn each other on with your mind. Um, yeah, you're very determined to be with this person or you might spend a lot of time with this person already sexually. Um, I think you both really do it for each other carnally. Like um, if you were to have sex, it would feel really good. Um, or you both would be kind of compatible or satisfied. Um, the hair of font, you want to teach this person something or they want to teach you something in bed. Um, you kind of want to worship them a little bit or you want them to bow down to you. Um, so maybe you just enjoy kind of being dominant and wanting them to play into that a little bit. King of Wands, you want this person to like turn to you. You want to feel like kind of like their protector or uh, it's like you want to teach them something. I feel like you guys are very compatible in bed. Like they're matching each other. They're matching each other. They're matching each other. So you guys like um, mesh well. Your energies, your energies mesh really well, especially sexually. Um, you're spending a lot of time with them or you're daydreaming about spending a lot of time with them um, naked. Six of Swords. Um, you guys want to, you want to get out your stress with them or vice versa. They want to like take your mind off things and you want to take their mind off things sexually. So you might want to just strip them down and <clears throat> make them feel good basically and vice versa. Um, yeah, you might be a little bit low-key obsessed with each other. Um, you might want to, like, steal a lock of their hair. You might be into sex magic a little bit. You might just be, like, very into this person. Um, you want to steal their energy in a way. You, okay, you might be a little kinky. You might want to tie them up. You might want them to tie you up. Um, you might just feel very comfortable with this person and want to do kind of crazier things with them sexually um maybe you just kind of want to go there with them maybe you like them like that <laughs> death card yeah so maybe this person transformed you sexually maybe you transformed them sexually maybe this is just a very powerful um sexual connection you feel like it is going to change you in some way i feel like you really just want to get down and dirty with this person and kind of like go there you guys are on the same like level sexually and you really enjoy each other and want to go to new depths with each other is what I'm seeing um yeah it's in a very an adoring way but it's also a little bit uh kinky just a little bit um let's see what is your near the near out the near future outcome what's like your near future outcome um let's look nine of wands uh you're both fighting for each other Naval Wands, you really, really, really want to screw. <laughs> Knight of Wands, okay, you really, 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 really want to screw. You both really want to screw each other. So you're probably going to fuck pretty soon or screw each other pretty soon. You're both fighting for this. You're both focused on this. This is like the don't give up card. This is the like start of a passion. This is the pursuit of a passion. So, you know, put two and two together. You're not going to give up on pursuing this, either one of you. Um... And it seems like it's going to be pretty explosive when it does happen. People might hear you. People might be jealous. Um, you might like to do it outside. Um, you guys might come a lot. 
I think you're gonna spend like all day together kind of thing. So yeah, it might be like a picnic. It might be outside. People might see or hear you. Um, you might do it like everywhere all day long kind of thing. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna have plenty of fun, explosive fun. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's all I gotta say. I don't want to get too kinky. I don't want to get into it. I know you guys want me to get into it. Next reading, maybe. Um, yeah, you guys are gonna have no problems. Yeah, I think you guys feel the same about each other, so. You guys are gonna be just fine, Aries. Uh, whether you're in a relationship or pursuing somebody, it looks like they're kind of putting in your hands. So, have fun with that. Bye. Um, oh yeah, like, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Um, you guys, please subscribe. It helps my channel and I'll keep making these videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.